Hi guys, it's Lada from Crocoblock. Welcome to this new video. In this tutorial we will find out how to make the filters responsive with the help of our brand new Jet of Canvas column add-on. Let's do it. But before, please subscribe and click the notification bell to help grow our channel. First of all, please make sure you have Jasmine Filters plugin installed and activated and you have filters created since we are not covering it in this tutorial. You need to download the add-on. And let's install it to the website. Proceed to Plugins. Click Upload Plugin button. Then choose a file. Navigate to the folder where you have saved the archive with the plugin. Click on it. Open. And press Install now and activate it. Let's make sure it's installed and activated. Here it is. I will go to the Jobs page. I open all pages and press View button. I'm using a job board template. On the page Jobs I have quite a lot of filters that are uncomfortable to use on a mobile since they shift the content and you don't see the jobs at all. And the best solution in this case is to use our add-on, of course. Let's edit this page in Elementor. You need to press the icon of the column where we have the filters. This option is supposed to work with a column or a container. Keep it in mind it won't work with a single widget. You need the Advanced tab. And here you open Off Canvas Settings. Enable. Then open the Advanced tab and in CSS classes insert the following name. Off Canvas Collapse. You need it if you want to close the Filters tab when the Apply button is clicked. Otherwise, just skip this step. Update the page and let's have a look at the front end. On desktop, nothing changed. Let's activate the responsive mode. And update the page. Here we see the labels expand and collapse. Everything works as expected. Let's just customize the styles a bit. I will remove expand label and add padding. I will set a filter icon and set its size for 20 pixels. For the collapse, I will change typography, add padding as well, and set the icon. Update and go back to the front end. Reload the page and let's have a look. Everything works correctly. Thank you for watching guys, hope you didn't forget to subscribe, leave your feedback below, cheers!